Hello everyone, Bobby V here from Bees Battlegrounds. Welcome back. Today we'll be looking at G.I. Joe Classified Series number 52, Snake Eyes and Timber. So this is our third uh, plastic-free packaging box. Um, we get the beautiful artwork on the front, transfers over to the side a little bit there. 52 on the top. Same Snake Eyes attributes as uh, 0, 2, or yeah, 0, 2, and 30. The Commando Snake Eyes. Got our little digital render in the front. Back displays everything that's in the box. Same file card system down there. Put that back there. Snake Eyes and Timber came cardboard tied into this. Uh, this Snake Eyes was over here. Timber was over here. Um, nothing, nothing too fancy, but. Just moving forward with the plastic free boxes. They came with their blue weapons locker. Snake eyes and timber. Giant handles. Fake hinges. G.I. Joe logo. And then the smorgasbord of accessories that you see here. So let's jump in. We got a couple co colors on snake eyes. Got some couple different grays. Let's see if we can get this light moved for you guys. A couple different grays, some green and slate gray on the pants. Uh, we got boots. They're actually breakers boots. I believe they're breakers boots. They look like breakers boots. So we get some some boots that aren't don't have shin guards on them. You guys know how much I love shin guards, so I'm definitely okay with this. Got a black face. Jaw piece and a on the gray helmet with the silver visor, but it's like a it's not too too silver of a visor. Great looking figure, same snake eyes that we've gotten, you know, a handful of times. Um, we got double zero next to him, and then we'll we'll bring in zero two. Um, I don't have the reissue. I didn't feel I needed to get the reissue, but. That's him right there. Or no, I'm sorry, I lied. That's uh, that's Fortnite Snake Eyes. There's... There's Zero Two with the uh, Fortnite Snake Eyes bandolier. I just swapped the bandoliers and just threw myself off completely. So, we'll slide him back. So there's Fortnite Snake Eyes, Zero Zero Snake Eyes, and then obviously the new... Um, I believe Lenny referred to him as the... Renegade slash Resolute. It's it's close. It's something different. Um, I definitely like the two tone snake eyes over the uh, over the all black. Personally, I get it. You know, first figure, all black, had to do with all their production costs and stuff. But I like them in all black. But I definitely like the uh, the tactical pants aspect of it mixed with the ninja shenanigans. Get a uh, silver Arashikaga logo on the belt. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Bandolier comes off. Black Arashikaga logo on the chest piece. We'll slide him back. He's going to be the 6th, technically 7th, if you have the, uh, the reissue Snake Eyes in the uh, classified line. So out of He's number 52, and you count 0, 0, 53, seven of them being snake eyes. It's a, eh, it's a bit of a large number. But uh, let's get into these accessories, and then we'll cut, we'll circle back and get into Timber. So he came with, like, the Alley Vipers uh, weapons, which I think is kind of weird. This uh, goofy Alley Viper submachine gun with the uh, magazine that clips into the back. Nothing really new. We got the uh, the grappling hook launcher, the grappling hook that comes out. No rope, but uh, this one came pre-assembled. A lot easier to put together than the uh, the Alley Vipers. The Alley Vipers had to uh, use a little bit of elbow grease to get it together. Their uh, assault rifle kind of weapon. Magazine drops out. The 
same pistol as before with zero zero and commando snake eyes maybe it's actually down right yeah yeah same pistol as zero zero and uh commando snake eyes with the suppressor that uh attaches can't have too many suppressors um he he is able to holster the suppressor and the pistol as well as his sheath which we'll get into next um unlike the uh Fortnite snake eyes which had everything molded which is still super weird but i guess it has to do with kids and choking maybe i don't know same uh dagger as before make sure it fits it's good it does it fits i know that was a, a big part of the reissue same with the red dot on the dome piece hey uh gray and brown sword sheath it almost has it has it looks it looks good it's the same one as the others but uh the um the color just looks a lot a lot nicer that brown really pops two-tone sword silver sword black hilt Fits in. A little slit at the bottom there. Trademark Uzi. The suppressor does clip onto the front of it. I guess pegging in the front of it. Looks good. It's got the throwing star hand that we saw with Zero Zero Snake Eyes. As well as the uh, karate chopping hand with the uh, the ninja claw things on it climb trees or whatever they're for came with a uh the poncho that we saw with stalker i have stalker's poncho right here we'll compare it so snake eyes stalkers um maybe off by a few different shades but otherwise the same exact you guys can't really tell with that lighting um snake eyes is darker Snake Eyes is definitely darker, um, but the same exact, exact mold. It might be a shade darker. Then we got uh, what good's the uh, the GI Joe Ninja Snake Eyes without his trusty dog, Timber, Wolf Pet Timber, Wolf Sidekick Timber Timber. Um, I think White was originally like a variation, a variant that was uh, floating around, and I think there was like a chase. Of it for the uh, 25th anniversary line. There you got them next to each other. The scar is a lot more prominent with the two with the colors there than it is so much on that one. Um, I don't know anything about the the ball joints and the heads, so I can't help you there when it comes to um, which is uh, cause weren't there two a running wasn't there a running change with the uh, original commando? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to see a uh, German Shepherd with um, the same body, different head, obviously. Keep the, get some black, have it fade into that goldish brown. Just, you need a new head sculpt for it that would make it a German Shepherd instead of a wolf. That'd be pretty great. Law and Order right there. So there you have it. Let's get the, uh, give me a second to switch out this wolf, the, the aggressive heads, and we'll take a look at those. All right, we're back. That was a little harder than I expected, but here's the uh, angry heads. This one, the new one, looks almost meaner, just with the paint, the lights hitting it. Uh, mine has a red spot on the back of its ear. Um, I don't know if that'll come off. I didn't really mess with it. I just noticed it when I was switching the heads out. So let me know if you guys have that. Just some random, random extra paint dripping through the Hasbro factory. There you have it. So, there they are, Snake Eyes and Timber, number 52 in the Class 5 line. Our third, uh, currently third, plastic-free packaging box. We got the uh, the Viper 3-pack, followed by the Blue Ninjas. Now we have this one. Um, 
as you can see, it is shorter. I didn't point that out earlier. It is slightly shorter than the original original boxes. Um, that's that's the only really gripe I have. Otherwise, I just open them, take the figures out, display the figures separately, display the box art, the side of the box art. So that's how I do things. There you go. There you have it. The number sixth or seventh Snake Eyes in the GI Joe Classified line. Let me know what you think in the comments. Till next time, I'm Bobby B from At B's Battlegrounds. Hail Cobra.